White House report shows improvements in Georgia's fight against COVID-19, but President Trump's federal task force says those improvements are fragile. Chenu Hart breaks down the report. The good news for Georgia is the COVID-19 numbers in the state are decreasing, including new cases and test positivity. That's according to the latest report from the White House COVID-19 task force obtained by 11 Alive News. While there are clear signs of progress, the report says these improvements need to accelerate as Georgia is still second in the country when it comes to the spread of new cases. In a new statement, Governor Kemp's office cites declines in new cases, hospitalizations and the positivity rate as proof of improvement. But the governor acknowledges there's still work to do. These are encouraging signs but we can't take our foot off the gas. The White House task force says improvements remain fragile and again calls for a statewide mask mandate, a suggestion repeated in their reports over the past three weeks. Governor Kemp instead signed an executive order without a mandate, but allowing local governments to implement one if they wanted. Dr. Amber Schmidtke is a public health microbiologist and most recently taught medicine at the Mercer School of Medicine in Macon. She says it's important to also keep the numbers in context as far as how Georgia compares to the nation. You don't get to be number one in the nation for disease transmission because you have good numbers. Um, and so we should definitely celebrate our successes, but it's important to not forget the fact that we have people that are dying 